What the heck was that? That's because their computers were coming in with the, their computers were coming in with the real info, and they had to take his name off. So, well, look, early on he was beating Giuliani. Well, and, and, and they had this Republican, right? So they had these different shades of red, and then they just have a gray, huge pie slice that they kept taking the camera off when it got bigger, without a name on it. That's not even red. I mean. It was, it was, and it wasn't just for a, a minute. This was on, this was for like an hour. How in the world do you justify not naming a person in the pie slice when everyone else has a name and having it a different color? It was the most blatant thing I've, I, I mean, it was just so visual. It was, it, it was really one of those things that just makes you sick. You're just going, I don't care what candidate it is. Every candidate deserves to have his name in the same Situation as every other candidate. What Especially he when he's beating, off? he's beating Giuliani, but they're showing his name. Now, now that was before they had a chance yeah. to rig it. Yeah. Now, 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 Bev Harris, uh, I want to get into the news that you're going to be breaking by this evening. Uh, you are getting the actual criminal record that was sealed, but you've been able to find a source that you say is extremely credible. Uh, I was using your words in the last uh, two breaks talking to you, uh, who, who, who was investigating him in a separate issue, an LHS, uh, should we say high-level associate? Like a vice president, yeah. Okay, but, uh, give us as much as you can right now so we can track this before it fully breaks. Well, I, I think that's as far as we want to go now. I'm awaiting the documents, and, and when something is this serious, I need those criminal records. But if the minute I have them, and it should be today, they will go up on my website, blackboxvoting.org. So watch for that, because uh, it, it won't be the first time. You know, Diebold uh, had a, a, co a convicted cocaine tra trafficker running its ballot printing plant for the West Coast. So, uh, it, <laughs> you know, it's, it's weird. It's like these guys aren't allowed to vote. <laughs> it's called black ops. <laughs> it's look, look, look. Their pilots are cook dealers. It's CIA. I mean, the, you know, they fed former Diebold heads or CIA. Other companies are former NSA directors. I mean, you go to these people's offices. It's 25 year old guys with high and tight haircuts, machine guns underneath their coats. I mean, it, it's an op. And uh, the point is, they're going to be defeated, they're going to be brought down, they're going to be exposed, and we're going to continue to ferret them out. And five years ago, people didn't know that was fraud. Now they know. And I am telling the Ron Paul campaign, look, I'm going to make it clear for new listeners. We just proved that they gave him zero in a town where he had 31, and that's what they're saying. And there's all these other towns that show zero, or 500 plus here, 200 plus there, uh, where, and some of we're talking about, that would make Paul a majority. We need to know who that other is. This election all needs to be thrown out, put on hold now. I do not want to see, uh, 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 you know, uh, this be a replay of Bush in 2000, Bev, where, where Gore sits out or Kerry 2004. We can't have Ron Paul sit out. I mean, it'd be one thing if we think there's fraud and he showed double in the polls what he actually got. It's another thing when we've caught him red-handed or when we catch him with uh, convicted traffickers running things. Right. You know, this, this 31 vote discrepancy is not just 31 votes. That's what we have to remember. It's a, system, it's a procedural breakdown in the system that's very serious. You can't spin it. And I, and I have to, you know, you, we've all seen it's like not that many candidates. It's not like they have a list of 200 races of different candidates all over the place. They had 12 numbers to report. Well, Bev, 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 you keep using the word discrepancy. Uh, discrepancy is when you don't know what's happened specifically. Now we know. They just say, hey, we didn't put the 31 down. Right. Uh, uh, what did this uh, this city clerk, uh, the township clerk, what did she say to you when you said, how did this happen? She said, it was human error. I, I'm sorry. Human error doesn't cut it. You could say human error about anything. And it just so happened to be Ron Paul. Well, and, and 31, don't they even, like, add up the number of, actually, in New Hampshire, they require that they do what's called a reconciliation form, yeah, and on yeah. that form, they have to say how many people showed up and how many votes showed up. It's easier than balancing. Off, it's why easy, don't you do something? It's easier than balancing your checkbook. Oh, it's, it's not. It, this is basic arithmetic, and it's basically we had 350 people walk in the door to vote, and we had this many votes show up. There's a, 
There's no excuse for this kind of stuff. And the question then becomes how many other places did something similar or something. What we found in Ohio, remember, in 2004 was uh, a whole range of different things. It wasn't just one method. So there was all kinds of different things. It's a here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> they so, attack the voting process at every level. It's, yeah. It, there's a lot at stake. Well, I mean, look, Fox just got caught with fake focus groups and fake people uh, uh, saying they supported neocons. I mean, it, it's all fake, Bev. <laughs> I, I, you don't have to tell me that. I was in PR before, and I had the experience of being able to write something and watch it show up on TV, and I was like, wow, this is all it takes. You know, but this is, uh, this should be unraveled further. Whatever it takes, we need to keep pulling at those strings. Bev, what do you think is going to happen uh, if, and you say, very credible source, you've already vetted it quite a bit, the final confirmation, these are sealed records, you're having to get them. Uh, you even had run-ins with this person, you've done your own investigations, that's why mm -hmm. you're saying it's credible, you're saying her info from a separate area from voting, de dealing with, uh, well, we don't want to say it, nexuses with that. If this is triple confirmed, what do you think is going to happen when it comes out? I mean, how many times has it been traffickers that are doing, I mean, this is too obvious. Well, listen, the citizens have been demanding of the Secretary of State of New Hampshire that he get some corrections in place, and I contacted and talked to the Assistant Secretary of State of the State of New Hampshire two days before the election and said, have you done anything to mitigate the risk of this inside access? And he said, not really. And, and he's a good, I, I'm not, I didn't get the impression he was thrilled about that. <laughs> you know, I don't know what the big obstacle is, but nothing was done, even though it was a known risk. And Harry Hursty, the person who hacked in the HBO special, Hacking Democracy, he personally came to New Hampshire and laid it all out for him. And he urged them to take certain steps, and they did not take those steps to protect the election. Bev, then you have Barack Obama, depending on the poll, 10 to 20 points, and the average about 15 points ahead of Hillary, and some polls even higher. And then magically, they're saying, oh, this embarrasses all the pollsters. This embarrasses the media. This embarrasses major magazines with Barack on the cover. Uh, you know, Hillary uh, magically wins by a big percentage, and then you go, look, at the machine discrepancies from the other ones, and Barack's winning uh, with the non-machines predominantly, but on the machines that are 80 plus percent, 81 percent, he's losing. Uh, and that's just what they did with Dean. I mean, this is for anyone with half a brain, Bev. This is right out in the open. Uh, yeah. This is like if you're playing yeah. dice with somebody and they keep rolling double sixes every time and beating you with their dice, and you pick them up and they're loaded. I mean, they're not going to roll. That's a good analogy. We have a guy on our website that talks, you know, how, works on the issues of communications of this, because a lot of it's just communicating it to people in a way that they will see. And he's like, you know, oh, we try to do all these things to monitor elections, but we have to understand we don't hold the cards. <laughs> you know? You're going in there going, okay, I won't show you this, and I won't show you this, and I got this in my back pocket, and it's like... It, it, it's, it's a rigged game. Here's the analogy. Here's the analogy. It's like going into a casino, and they take you to a white, windowless room, and they show you nothing, and then someone walks in and says, uh, this is who won, and they just tell you. I mean, you're not allowed to see the machinery, look under the hood, not even allowed to look at the slot machine. I mean, they could rig it and still let you look at it, but they won't even do that. Oh, I think this is worse because we have, because in fact, when I found those files, we did look at them, and we found that they're basically made for tampering. That's not too strong a statement. We have to understand that the guy who programmed the master computer, and it's a little technical, so it's not it's more relevant to some of the other states than New Hampshire. But he was he had just gotten out of prison after four years on 23 counts of computer embezzlement. His prison record is on our site, and the first thing he did with the kind of vote tallying system that adds them all up. They don't use this in New Hampshire, that I will say, but in every other state they do. The first thing he did with this computer program that tallies the vote is put in a double set of books. Hello. I can prove that because I've looked at it. So it's not even like give folks, we give looked folks, at it. we've looked at it and we've seen that it's designed for this. Give folks that guy's name again. That guy's name is Jeffrey Dean. 
And uh, he and his prison buddy, John Elder, who was the cocaine trafficker, 